the first thing is to know what you want the department to do. And uh, that can be challenging because if you come new to the job, you have no background in that department. And the information to you in detail about what the government department does is pretty sketchy. So uh, you have to, first of all, try to find out what the government department is doing. You have then to decide what you want to do if you want to change direction. And then you have to be very specific about where you want the new policies to go and about the timetable that you want to achieve in implementing them. Uh, and you want to have that in writing and you want a private secretary whose job it is to monitor the process to make sure there's no drifting of events. Uh, the job of Deputy Prime Minister is very much what you want to make of it. And it can vary from the extremes, one extreme being that you're the, uh, the, 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 the king in waiting. The other is that you are the shadow of the existing Prime Minister there to enjoy the authority that comes from that deputy position to implement his or her policies and to do, frankly, what can often be sophisticated troubleshooting. The role that I saw myself doing was very much working as the shadow of John Major. I was determined there wouldn't be a glimmer of light between us. And I think that's where I got the authority from, that everybody knew that if I turned up and said, this is what I want to see, I would have already established that John Major wanted that to be the policy. Um, if there had been any doubt uh, in anyone's mind uh, that I spoke with his authority, within a very short period of time, it would have been all over the press. And secondly, people would have known that there would be a route of appeal from what I said straight to the Prime Minister. And John never was involved in countermanding anything that I did or even giving a glimmer that he was in disagreement. It's the first simple reason that I wouldn't do anything unless I knew we had a secured agreement between us. And in that way, I was able to help him with usually troubleshooting things that blew up, events, dear boy, events, the old <laughs> rocks of politics. That's often where a Deputy Prime Minister finds a lot of his time. <laughs>